So, hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to Space Engineers, and I, I, I know chat's been really busy already because I sort of missed my window and we've had a really crazy morning in real life. Um, yeah, correct. So in between streams, um, Buckley, you can just jump into the, the Discord and we can just chat there if you've got questions or you know something in between streams. But other than that, we'll try and keep it obviously sort of in chat for the ones viewing the stream. Um, anyways, let's quickly run through the chat because there's quite a few things that have been said and I want to sort of address a few things here. And so we're going to start possibly by starting some music. I think that would be a good idea to start with. Uh, there we go, yes, you, and then, yeah, you can just shuffle that old album. Whoa, 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 too loud. Somewhere down there. And... Right, I'm gonna load up the game. And while that happens, uh... And we're gonna go through... Yeah, chat, basically. Right, uh, I am. <laughs> I am actually from the UK, not originally. I have lived. Well, I was born and bred in Germany for twenty six years, and I've lived for fourteen years now in Scotland. So that's just sort of to take it away. To take that away. That wasn't chat. Um, then we were talking about yesterday's stream quickly and essentially about the ship that we'd obviously build um, and some chat going on about what that Discord is active, you know, that we're doing things in between there and bouncing ideas forth and back. Um, we talked about the landing gear set up a little bit in stream um, and we were sort of stuck last time or yesterday with the solar and I have looked or I have started to look into scripting and I have from from what I understand Tarsus I will probably need more than uh, one timer block I may need two um, and at least one programmable block but I have literally just sort of after the stream last night after basically uploading was sort of going on I was sort of just looking into it and there is still for me a lot to learn before I can even take this on a stream and teach it, right? And it's not all that far off, but it's it's going to take me a few hours to really wrap my head around it. And then I can do a little tutorial on that, and that's going to be an episode all on its own. But we're going to do it on this base, obviously, so we can actually apply that knowledge. For now... Um, we have slightly different plans because I have mentioned this a few times on my streams. Um, we're going to get a search introduced. It was actually supposed to happen this episode, but I feel I'm not brave enough to do that without having at least some base defenses in place. Okay, um, just to sort of leave this as it is. Um, we, we, you know, we have added already st the stuff to the ship that allows us to be a bit more uh, independent when we get there I'm gonna knock this out again because I really don't like this I don't I don't I don't I want it to be you know when it's retracted I want it to be at the same level as the bottom here so that's gonna have to get redone um, but let me go and wrap up the rest from what was going on in chat um, Just checking in, and then basically just inviting Buckley onto the t uh, the Discord. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry guys, I was obviously <coughs> out the house for a second. Um, but I know Buckley is there. What? I'm sure. Um. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're all there and we're sort of caught up. Um, and yeah, I, I really would like a little more challenge in the game and that means obviously we're going to introduce a third 
but we're not gonna just do that blindly. <laughs> you know, add the mods and have no defenses there. It's just a bad idea, I feel. Um, I think the first thing I would like to check is magnesium. That's sort of probably gonna be the first one because we're gonna need enough magnesium to be able to oh, can't do that um, to make ammo. And it doesn't look good. Do we have none at all? Did we not pick up any at all in our travels? And also, I forgot again that my X mouse button control is still enabled. What do I need? To kill that. There we go. That scroll will work right now. Um, oh, yes. Thank you, Tarsus, for reminding me. Oh, we have ill gotten gains still. Oh, maybe we don't. We, we, we should do. Unless they blew up. Right. It could be that the clang thing just destroyed them. And yeah, I, I see no magnesium. So that's, that's a run we're going to have to make. Um, I also would like to sort of understand... Let's clean up some of these hotbars. Like, I feel it's gone a little bit too far. <laughs> uh, we're just going to clear these out for now. Yeah, and as I say, I've not seen any magnesium. There's none on the robot, I'm sure. Um, what did I do? And so what you're hearing in the background, we've also got our nephew there. He's three. And so, yeah, he's attending today. And it's, it's all fun and games today. Um, let's look. Uh... Is it just a weapon block, I wonder? The warfare blocks are different. Is it a block weapon? There we go. Um, so we can build all this, essentially. It's just the matter of having the ingredients. Um, and from what I can see, it's just the cobalt thing. Like, cobalt... Uh, we have gold for superconductors, you know, but there's nothing here outlandish at the moment that is going to throw a monkey wrench in there. I'm just making sure, but yeah, no, it, it seems fine. Um, and I don't know if I want to go the way of the rocket or if we're going to the way of the Gatling. I feel like Gatlings are the better option here. Um, that's a small grid. Then you get all the cannons, assault cannons, but I think they're also a part of the same group. So let's go and add that. Um, that's obviously going to need some conveyor blocks, so we're going to go and... I like the piping from the deal, um, Heavy Industry DLC, so that's why I keep using it. Um, then obviously steel plate to build it up. Um, there's some... Do junctions have all the tubes? Yeah, the ones that I would need, that's fine. Um, and then possibly a sorter? Oh, but I, would you need that, really? I don't think so. Because we've got the inventory management working for us anyways. So, I think that is pretty much all we would need for that. Um, I would like to start thinking about where we're going to place that, obviously, as well. Um, and how we're going to do the, the piping for that. Um, streaming on. Um, so... Try and understand what my best way, because I would need to cover at least sort of this whole huge angle of, of attack, if you will. But I would want to, like one each corner or something like that. I'm sure we could pull something from the bottom, like I'm, I'm sure we could do something like, say, uh, see you. 
Thank you, Owen. Yeah, see? And then just bring him out. Yeah, I noticed. Um, I'm just gonna keep going, Tarsus. Uh, anyways, um, so I think if we pull tubing through here, um, I think I would like to use some of these. Uh, what is it? Curved. Yeah, like so. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, interior plate. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna go and grab some interior plate and some steel plate well just because uh, yeah like so and then just conveyor pipe conveyor pipe yeah I can come out one more but I would make that a T-junction right turn it uh, like so <laughs> Buckley's like, no, I'm here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, something like that. And then bring out the... No, not a pipe junction, not a sort of... Just conveyor pipes. Boom, boom. And then I think, just because I like the look of it, do like so. And then just and attach the rest of these oh. bring it out so, oh, one more yeah like so and then where's that curved one uh, like so and then I can place those turrets right on top of that like I, I like that idea yeah Oh, Tarsus, don't don't trust the YouTube view numbers. It's it's a weird one. Um, yeah, you're always seeing less numbers than what you're expecting to see. Um, I, I look at statistics. This whole viewer numbers disappearing. My wife is seeing the same on her channel. Um, so you know, it's I tend not to pay too much attention to it. <clears throat> It's a shame that it's something that they haven't fixed yet. Um, but so, you know, that, that's the beginning there. Let's go and grab some magnesium. Um, can we just double check that maybe we have something in this inventory that should not be existing? Like reactor components. Uh, just hide empties for now. Um, You know, just in case the rovers uh, built and repair has done something. So, but we can go. Yeah, we, we, we need to beware of the big hole. <laughs> uh, hail clang, I suppose. Uh, there we go. It's what, 3k? Is that really the. No, we've got no, black guy. You have it, but not. not how many minutes? So, also, let's just, for the entertainment, magnesium, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, I, I don't trust the people. I, I, no, just, no, 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 I, I have been burnt one too many times on that. I like my handbrake on one, it's... It's by now it's muscle memory. There's no other way of putting it. It's literally muscle memory by now where I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna change that behavior because I know it's reliable. And we're gonna just right click this stuff away. Yeah, I'm so sorry, that is so loud every time. Is there any way it's just sound volume? There's no I think there's a mod for that possibly. I'd, I'd need to look into that, because that is... Just so obnoxious. Uh, 
mean, even on my meters on my OBS it looks absolutely horrendous. This, this should be a nice little area for us to start working in, right? Uh, yeah, let's go and start picking up stuff. Oh, I should have probably emptied my inventory, but eh. Who knows? Some days I never learn. Could be to do with my age too, you know, like teaching an old dog new tricks and all that. <laughs> my rover. There we go. Oh. Dear conservation of momentum, sometimes you really suck. Uh, oh, no, 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 not again. Right, okay. I need to figure out a way to build. Like, could we afford to? I wonder. We probably don't have any power cells on us. I have, uh, because that would have been the thing now, just to have a little power grid here, because I'm going to start doing the thing that Tarsus was suggesting the other day, like have a little, little landmarks, you know, something to tell me, okay, I've, I've dug a hole there, especially at night time, I really struggle with that one. <laughs> Now I'm hoping I remember to leave those ejectors and sorters on and connect it. Because for some reason I always end up with some stones, so... <clears throat> oh, have you not seen it up in the corner? I've not seen it in the corner. Uh, top right. <laughs> Made that thing already. <laughs> uh, we have a clone counter. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, are we going to go and pick up some ice while we're here? What's, what's your thoughts here? Uh, we we'll probably have a bit of space for that, right? Like, I'm sure we can... Yeah, 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 we, we can we can make some ice fit somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> just while I'm here, I feel like that's a good idea. And I would have thought there was a hole somewhere here. But nope. So... This seems fine. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. I want that precious ice. I just feel like we've been burning through quite a bit of hydrogen with our um, jetpack, so... Uh, yeah, see, I've sort of picked this up from Splitsy, I think, where I just sort of mark the location of the elements quickly. Um, and... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, and I really should be getting better at maybe re changing the GPSs over or something, but I, f I feel like we're getting close to a stage where we can probably approach with the rover, have a little something, something making components for us. Um, and just build a little landmark, but Again, as a cost and resource that may just not be necessary. Um, 
So that's exactly what we're going to do here for the time. Like, I, I don't need that much ice, really. Um, but what we're going to do, because uh, I like that. Like, not even going to lie, Buckley, that's actually a really good idea. Um, Earth, just to make sure we've got sort of uh, nuts ice mine. But, and I know exactly where that entrance is. Cool. Let's do the same for the magnesium if we can find it again. Because I wasn't that far away actually from it here. And then so if we go and do the same thing here. GPS. So yeah, Buckley, I'm stealing that idea. <laughs> I'll give you the credit, don't worry, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm stealing this. Uh, magnesium mine. I feel like if it's a mine, then I'm going to spell it out properly, whereas the initial find is just going to be the elements. Like, I like that. But yeah. There's stone flying out. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We want that. Um, let's have a look at inventory space here. Just. Yeah, ice, ice sort of everywhere, magnesium. Do we have space, theoretically, for a bit more? Yeah, getting... Not that, not all that much that would be worth keeping anything else. So, back home, I suppose. You know when your daddy gets here. And off we go. Oh, old tree. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I was looking onto another screen there. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you guys, like having three screens is is nice sometimes, but it it can be such a distraction. Now we need to be careful of the big gaping hole that I've banged into the ground here. Yeah, old little yeah. rover. I know you're the okay. little rover that could, yeah. but... And then, remember, we've got that lovely little camera. Um, I've done it again. I've got this six. Watch this. Now, Tarsus will know this one very well. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Every friggin' time. Uh, yeah, you should actually have sort of everything there, right? Cool. <laughs> I love how I do this every time. Honestly. Oh, Right. Carefully. Carefully. Don't damage it again. I think we can lock in, although I have a feeling that built and repair is going to start again. No? We left it intact this time? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh... Um, I may want to look into now. Um, for those that not don't uh, haven't seen this in the episode I've done this, we actually use the driver assisting system script, um, and I have actually changed the speeds on it. Like I've already told it like backwards. I want to be slower, and I think I'm gonna. Yeah. Go like so. Right. I, I think I can live with that. And then maybe also. Um, oh, is that a thing? So, wait a minute. Um, Tarsus, yet again. What would I do without you, mate? Honestly, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Crash and burn. Crash and burn. Yeah, you're right about that, wifey. <laughs> wifey? Sorry, Veronica, my dear wife. Is that better? <laughs> uh, power transfer. Where, where, where's... 
That's just, is this a strength? Connector strength when aligning a ship. Small enough things of two connector is used. Is, is this the guy? I, I, I would imagine so. Like, it looks like it. Right. <clears throat> right, so... Let's go and just go as far as that. Disable that. Honestly, I'm, I'm quite happy just... Getting up to it. And then lock me in when I can. Right, and let, let's go and test that behaviour. So obviously we want to make sure that that is what's, what's happening. So we're going to go forward a bit. Hit the handbrake. Hit our nice camera and then come back a bit. Oh, align a bit better if I can this time. And then I can just... Yeah, look at that. That's so much better actually. Thank you very much indeed, Tarsus. Um, and you know, it's little tricks like this, guys. These make all the difference in your gameplay. Because this can become frustrating, you know, trashing your own connectors all the time. And you're like, okay, what's going on? Um, so I love it, you know, that we have a community here that's actually saying, hey, listen, go and try that. I'll help make your job so much easier. And God, gosh darn it, it does. It's, it's great. Um, now we have magnesium, and then we're going to have to obviously... Put ammo into production. Maybe you start with that well, and put ammo into production if I don't know what I'm putting down. Um, I, I have not played with any of these. I have seen others play. I have not played with it myself, but I have a rough under. Not on Oh, that's an interior chart. No, thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Salt cannon shells, okay, 1400 meters, uh, 800 meters, ooh, 2000 meters. Titanic turret, perfectly suited for battles against heavily armored targets, Use artil uses artillery shells. Hmm. Maybe a little bit too big for the beginning. Um, then there's obviously a missile turret. I feel like let's start maybe just with a Gatling. You know, a, a pair of Gatlings. I mean, 800 meters. Um, actually, a slightly better idea. We're going to use a pair of Gatlings here, and then in the middle I'm going to try and have something that is a little bit more longer range, because I would like to sort of start intercepting targets that are, say, 1.2k away, something like that. I, I don't want to let them get too close and then absolutely trash my base, you know, that's, that's sort of the whole point. Um, so let's go and withdraw twice that. And I'm just going to go and plonk one on there. I'd like to see the alignment too, so this is a little bit tricky for myself. Ah, there we go. So, like so, and then I can... Like so, right? Now, I've seen a lot of good stuff about the Gatling, so, and you know, I've seen it work... Um, I've seen it work quite a few times, so I'm quite familiar. Um, I just feel like 800 meters is a little bit too close for comfort to start shooting. Like, when they're at 800 meters, I want them to already have some sort of engagement from my base at that point, if that makes sense. Right, now I realize I have to replace that connection, obviously. Um, but first of all, we're going to have to actually build these blocks. Because build and repair won't touch these yet. And I've done that on purpose. Because exactly that. We've now unlocked new blocks. Right, great. Go and do the same here. And besides, I love putting blocks down the first time when you've never done it. I mean, you know, once you've placed your first, the thousand <laughs> armor blocks, light armor blocks, you get bored of it and, and you're quite happy to let build and repair do it. Um, or things like, you know, just piping. But when I place, like, even, say, engines or 
things like this, you know that you know you're going to place many sort of many of at some point. Well, yeah, let let build and repair take over. Um, but so that's that part, right? Now we're not going to need Gatling ammo. Oh, by the way, um, people may have missed this. Um, I've done this. I think I've done this off stream. I've I've added a what's this a power efficiency in a yield module, just to this little. Well, that was stupid. Is that even going to do anything? No, that's not. Sorry, that's my fault. I'm, I'm, it's just occurred to me that it's not going to do me anything. Module, give me that thing just back there, I like it. And then speed module, I suppose, would be handy. Gotcha. Have. Yeah, you, you can do the rest. No! Custom turret, yeah, with a custom turret controller. Um, that obviously is going to be sort of the step up. <clears throat> but, you know, for now, I'm, I'm happy if I can get this working. I don't even know why I'm looking at this live update. Oh yeah, because of this. Just healing in that. Um, but, uh, you know, ultimately, as I said in the beginning of the episode, um, I really want to just make sure we have some base defense before a surge starts coming in tomorrow. Because that's now it's going to happen, no matter what. If I get, if I don't get the defenses up today, give, uh, like a, a surge is still going to turn up and we just have to deal with it. Oh, hello, unknown signal. And do I really care about you? Nah, not really. Not not enough. So, production. Um, this is a consumable, I imagine. And this is Gatling Ammo Box. Let's make... I don't know, 100? I, I don't know what's a good number here. Um, so there's 140. But I know they chew through them like... Smarties. Like... Let's start with just say a hundred and just see what the resource resources say. Um then just yeah, let it do its thing. Okay? Um and then obviously I would like Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Please. Is it this guy is that's not it's not the nature ammo, is it? Uh, superconductors. I feel like. Car track. Is it? No, that's Gatling ammo box. That should appear. Surely it should appear on here somewhere. Angle grinder, no. Bulletproof, no. Did no. Girder, uh, interior plate, large tube. Like, I don't feel like I see it on my list. Uh, and it may just be YouTuber blinders, so please bear with me for a second. So what you're telling me, let me confirm. So what if I asked for Gatling? What? Oh, it's one. Mm -hmm. Uh, 25, well, that's more than 33. So that's 25, that's like uh, 57. Oh, don't even mention iron tarsus. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> um, uh -huh. <laughs> it is indeed this NATO ammo. That, that is indeed what it is. Right. And I wish there was a better naming for it because that is a bit misleading, I find. Um, ores, not ores in general look good, but I, I have a feeling. Uh, I 
Right you know when your daddy comes. Boy's coming out today. Oh, all right. Fair enough. You're about eight o'clock. Yeah. So, Tarsus, why, why, why did you have to write, be right about this one? Like, yeah, I know he usually is, but it doesn't help this case. <laughs> um, yeah, of course the turret will, uh, the turrets will fill up, which is obviously the whole point. But um, then again, you know, I want the inventory management to make sure that we're always going to have them in stock. Just keep making them. Um, what do you mean encoding overloaded? We should be absolutely fine here. Am I even heading the right way? Yes, yes, I actually am. And apparently, I did damage something because build and repair is. <laughs> uh, I just, just don't. As a matter of fact, what, what did I damage? Or did we pick up something? I, I don't know. Yeah, I know there's iron in them that helps. So I've been here before. Well, I feel like we have a... I've dug a thing here somewhere. Here we go again, and it's, it's, oh, wait, did I actually manage? No, no, of course I didn't find the right hole, I think. No, this looks like gold only. Um, am I even going to bother? Oh, I'll take it. Oh, wait, what did I, okay, I got turned it on and I thought I had, the other tunnel in front of me, but it wasn't. There's somewhere here, there's another hole. I am positive I made one. You know where your dad is? I'm having that. Stop being with me and just do it. I think there's iron right here and I'm going to just have to bite the bullet, like... Eh. I'm going to do this right this time. Earth. Iron. Mine. And then straight down. Oh, I know I'm right next to the entrance that I've originally dug for the iron. I know that Tarsus, but I just because it's dark, I can't see it, and I've just decided to do this now. But, you know, it's it's something that we've now learned finally, properly. Well, thanks to Buckfish Little Advice, you know, we can just... If you, mar if you mark your mind properly like this, you actually know where you went. Down. It's, it's nice knowing where the elements are, but ultimately you need to know where you actually went down. Uh, live and learn. And then I'm gonna get two loads of this. Um, and since we're here, I may pick up some more. Sorry, got turned it on there. Um, get some more cobalt. Well, because it's girders. Is it girders or metal grids? You know the ones that um, require cobalt, and I think it's actually metal grids I'm talking about. Ow. Ooh, ooh. Getting very close to the <laughs> clone counter increase here. <laughs>
Oh, that was stone. And I'm just gonna dig a bit more. Well, actually, that's probably too much from what I needed, but it's fine. It's done now. And I need to really be careful now because we haven't even got our. We don't have a health uh, or soil kit on board here. Um, and I think there will be a retrofit in the in the works at some point soon-ish. But go and pick this stuff, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum, and then I know whatever stone is there will be getting chucked out anyways. Because I've already heard the guys doing their thing. <laughs> oh, iteration, clone counter. Yep. That's the thing. <sighs> well, I'm glad you guys are here to join this, <laughs> enjoy this with me. <laughs> um. Give me it all, thank you. Buckley, I barely played the game 100, maybe 110 hours now. Um, I didn't think that hardcore was. that there was a fit enough for hardcore. For, I'm not even fit enough for this gameplay, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but, but hardcore would have been just too punishing. Just not. Nah. I no. Nah. Might as well just go permadeath, just. Delete the world, bam, done. Please start new. Uh, um, I would like to, because I did say I was going to. Let's see if I can just by chance, although I doubt it. I'm not interested in gold. Oh, it's more, it's cobalt, it's a bit closer. Well, careful now. Here we go again, try and kill myself. Like I feel I think this is actually quite a substantial mine. Let me have a Oh no no no, here we go. Where where is my Or am I just misreading this? It's the rover inflation. No, it is about under sixty meters this away. And this is pretty much close approach here. Come forward a bit. Right, that's... Uh, what can we do here? Ah! Goodness sakes. Okay, am I just going to go down here? Oh, wait. GPS. Earth. Cobalt mine. And that way we always know where the blinking entrance is. So let's keep going here. Um, but yeah, I would like to <clears throat> maybe swing back to this whole um, solar arrangement on the ship, right? Um, it's gonna have to be a custom script. I haven't seen anything on the workshop that does what I want specifically. Um, and it's actually not all that difficult. Like, it, it essentially consists of me grabbing the rightly named objects, in this case, in this case two groups, um, and then read out their values find out the alignment of the ship, or of the grid possibly, you know, something to that effect. Um, and then just make those values basically match and basically say, okay, the alignment of the ship is thusly. Please also ret rotate <coughs> that go to and hinge combo correctly in relation to that. Something along those lines. 
or quite possibly okay. just set uh, set their values to zero. You know, it's actually not all that complicated of a job. It's more the fact that I have to wrap my head around a whole what? new SDK. What? No, I have not. Um, there's deep ores I've also seen kind of Jashi actually doing the whole thing with in, in, in series four where he's got a goddess at war, you know, um, with its custom ores and that. So I've seen it done there, something to that effect, but holy moly, that is just... I feel like once I have fulfilled the objective of this series, which is, you know, to sort of maybe iterate for everyone that's, that's not aware, I want to be able to visit every planet at least once and build a base there. You know, something that would be self-sustaining if possible. Um, and if it is on a non-breathable atmosphere, um, like say the moon for example, that also counts as one of the goals, um, then what would actually be required is also an uh, airtight compartment on that base. So that's, that's sort of the goal for where I want to go with the series. Um, and I like the sort of thought of the added challenge of assert, um, but I'm still getting to grips with so many base game concepts. Really, I feel that it'd be stupid for me to go absolutely bonkers on mods. And like realistically, the only extra building block we have is the built and repair. If I'm not absolutely mistaken. Oh yeah, like as I say, I've seen the deep ores mod. Uh, you know the the the, the uh, distribution of ores in it is absolutely insane. Of course, um, and we must be having picked up a lot of stone. No, no, that was it. Okay, cool. So we've now filled the rover, and I think we can go home. We're, we're quite okay here. Um, base that way, and try not drive through any hole. Oh. No, here we go again. <sighs> Come on, just turn around, please. What did we lose? If we lost. We lost an entire cargo container. Ah, good thing. Okay. This is fine. This is fine-ish. So we've got... It's not too bad. <clears throat> we've actually got cobalt and we've got iron. <laughs> Uh, and we've destroyed the connector, you know, all that good stuff. And yeah, probably a whole bunch of stuff, I know. It's... Uh... Oh yeah, the one by one piston, thank you Buckley, I forgot about that. That is another out of Buckley, yes. Um, but it's for me, it's just a convenience of the space yeah. saving. Do you know where your daddy is? Fair enough. And I'm going the wrong way no, here, by the way. No, no minute. Have enough. So, uh, this is not the first time, Buckley, and, and probably won't be the last time either. <laughs> I, I find that very nice of you, Charles, but you can see it, you know, you, you can see it. <laughs> Been here, done that, wore the shirt. And I'm doing it again. Um, it may probably behoove me to, to put like heavy armor blocks around the whole darn thing, but hey, have I learned anything? Not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping you guys still enjoy it, even though I derp up quite a lot. Um, 
See, I've done the thing there with the entrance. Right, I'm actually glad that a player of a thousand hours still admits to that. It's actually not as disheartening to see it then. <laughs> Honestly, it? it's... <laughs> uh, well, actually, I got away with almost oh, everything here. Like, I literally got away with almost everything here. I just need to put another... <laughs> Um, just put another cargo container in there and good, don't call it good then, <laughs> no, not calf or go, it's cargo, it's it's this guy. Um, oh, actually I have him on there, isn't it? Is, is, is that not the guy? No, that, that's, that's the big guy, no, that's, that's not who I want it. Uh, it's this guy I wanted, yes. You're going in there, but no, no, you I also need, wait, before I do that, this is important. Otherwise it will not work. Uh, it, not a junction, a converter, it's not a sorter, it's not a tube. Yeah, frame. We need a frame in here, otherwise it doesn't fit. Like in terms of passing it. No. Uh, can I do I this? Well. Right, we will build that up. <clears throat> And then we can plonk that guy there. Is it? This should be fine. Alright, this should pass through. I should be able to just... Hopefully. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's done the thing. Give me that camera, please. And then we can just... Oh, handbrake. Let's, let's try and correct that. That, that, that. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Alright, carefuling, but we should be fine now because we don't have that magnetic thing bouncing us fully in. I can just gently back up into it and lock. Nice. That, that was so much a better experience. Thank you, Tarsus. That really... You know, again, it's these little hints. They make all the difference. Um, when you're sitting there like, Again! And again! Sick! Um, but so we have some materials now. Hopefully the stuff is getting made. I'm almost tempted. Almost. Just heavy ammo blocks somewhere here just to protect it. But I, I just... I don't like the rover well enough to redesign it. If that makes sense. Like I I am not attached enough to just try and slap some armor plating on it. I, I would want to rip down a few bunch of things and redesign it that way. Um anyways, I would like to come back to this for a second because as I say, I feel like I would want to add a few things. Well, one, one thing really, um, and for that we're gonna go and chop this off. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, indeed. I, I, I forget so many things. Emptying my inventory would help. Yeah, yeah this can literally all come off. And what I might do is something what? quite cheeky. Um, to go away. Hmm. You're for that. Actually, why not? Just chop you off. Right. Now bear with me. I, I have a bit of a... It's awfully close to there, but I frankly don't care. Um, let me try something here. That's a Gatling. It's an interior. That's an assault cannon. Well, I would need it... Uh, it would need to be... No, can't do that like that. Okay, that's fine. Let me try and chop you off. And you. That. And 
EQ, top piston part, and this, this can all go. And then just plonk it there. Right, um... Yeah, I know it's gonna look a little bit jank, but have it sort of face out that way, right? And just go and build up what we can. And I think if you ever need to make a base connector higher or lower, you can put it at the end of a couple of hinges to get the Yeah, yeah, I've played with that sort of thing before as well, Buckley. Um, but thanks for the tip. Um, and like in our actual proper base, we're going to have something that will sort of be able to... Uh, adapt itself to different rover heights if that makes sense i think i would like something that can do that um and we're going to use exactly that you know sort of, sort of a double hinge a double hinge construction type thing um well, this is should now functional um nope i'm not building that i'm building this um but this is fine okay because, yeah, in a space in between, for example, yeah, obviously. So, uh, let's see here. We, we, have, we have now, you know, those guns. Um, can we... I need to learn these now. Give me... Alright. Uh, aiming radius. I would want this at max. Mm. I know that like there's a huge sort of accuracy drop off beyond the 600 meter range. Um, but we're gonna just leave, right? Missiles for sure. Small ships, yes. Large ships for sure. Characters, yeah, no. Stations. If something spawns close to us, I suppose, but. No. Neutrals, enemies, yes. Target locking, target options. Uh, that's a good question. What's, what's the best? I would say power systems. Right? Um, conveyor system, yes. But there is nothing really to limit their aiming radii or you know uh, vectors if you will um what we'll call these the gatlings for now i always do this i don't know why i feel so inclined to do it with a double t and then we have somewhere oh efficiency i really need to rename a few things better here Sweet mod turbine yield module all right to target weapons okay i will change that in just a second um why can i not see this thing now i've just built the darn thing the salt cannon turret there yeah, that guy um right okay makes sense buckley i i get what you mean okay cool um so let's actually go and talk talk through that um so buckley is suggesting that instead of going for the default or like in my case the power systems what we should be doing is we should be attacking the weapons so they can't damage us anymore and then we can salvage the rest um and i i feel like and no no tarsus is sort of piping and saying maybe weapons or propulsion um i feel like weapons is a good choice probably actually more for the gatlings right you are going to go for the weapons Right, and, right, and then where is it? Uh, and this is going to be. Propulsion. I think that's what we, yeah. Wait, 
pizza. I'll right, do and so what does this take? It's assault cannon shells. Up, you can make that. All right, let me come off this um, and make a few of them. So they are production consumables, um, assault cannon shells. Yes, make me twenty. Okay, it's actually not too bad. Um, and we're gonna just tell. Oh no, it's doing this thing again where it's not gonna be named that. Steel blade suit. What? What? Where is it? Um, data pad display. No, we're not counting, we're not counting. Hand drill, hydrogen, portal. Where are these? I can't find them now. Is it these guys? Looks like. So we say 20, right? Medium caliber ammo, they call that. Like, I'm hoping that's the right thing, but... Yeah, see, the, um, that's why I'm sort of going for that mixed approach there, Tarsus. I, I want to be able to say, okay, these guys can take out the weapons, say, and whereas he, he he's going to focus on getting the propulsion away, right? And then I have an idea for this guy, actually. I've, I've changed my plans slightly. I'm going to make a grinding pit here. <laughs> Where we can literally take any grids that sort of come towards us, and then we'll just dump them in here, and they just get chopped up and fit right back into our little base. I think that's a sort of sweet little idea, um, because, let's face it, there is no way we fit this grid in that hole and I, I really don't feel inclined to try and dig out a hole big enough for that um so i've changed my mind slightly and i feel like we're gonna do it yeah grinding pit just full of just grinding blocks all the way and just have a conveyor tube come up <clears throat> and yeah feed just straight into the base i think that'd be awesome i mean let me guys what you let me know what you guys think but i think it'd be better purpose for that hole right anyways i feel like we have got a slight start on here let's go and improve on that because there is no way we're uh, totally secure yet um and now i imagine that actually we're gonna have to change this i don't feel confident with this because and i'll tell you why My problem here is this, if we have someone approaching from that, their direction, I think these guys are dumb enough to just, yeah, they just sort of, they would just shoot through the base, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 see, see, Buckley is agreeing with me on that. Um, so Tarsus is saying Pit of Doom, yeah, I, I like that, <laughs> you know, we, we, that's what we'll call it, we'll call it the Pit of Doom, and that's where all the hostile grits are going to go end up, <laughs> um, but I think what we're going to have to do, and, oh, stuck here, um, and this, for me, in my mind, is the easiest way of doing it, is, I'm just going to do it on this one, get, oh, up please um stick it in there and so the easiest way i can think of is what we're going to do is where are they do we do we have armored versions of these i don't think so we have pipe junction i don't think they're armored versions but these have reinforced versions of it so what i would like to do then Go in here. Bump. And face it inwards, I say. Like so. Oh, because a steel plate. Just 
Just give me all of that. Thank you. Oh, does it? Well, I had no intention of grinding it. I mean, build and repair would have just picked it up for me, I think. Um, but yeah, come basically up. No, not that way. That way. You need to be higher still. I want it to be really above. So that, that should actually do, right? Let's, why are we not aligned there? One, come on, one more. So, yeah, and then place the thing right on top. No, no, not the big guy. No, no, not, not the really big guy. Not that guy either. Yeah, yeah, one of those. And yeah, you can face outwards. Right? And there we go. Built and repair is doing the thing. Now, I'm fairly certain I can do the thing where I can now go and grab build and repair. Uh, if I find it. That's the one on the base and I can tell it now to please. Are they controllable guns? Hmm. Are they? I don't know. I think so. By the looks of it I would say they're controllable blocks. Uh, controllable guns I mean. Right, so I would imagine this guy should at some point very soon get welded up to, uh, to yeah. Right, go on. Please put everything in there, thank you. I think I like this idea, right? So I'll bring it up and I need to probably count blocks now. Because I forgot to do that. That would have been helpful. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen blocks up. And like this is not gonna stay, like we're, we're gonna obviously sort of come. I, I did pick up a lot of steel plate and then I just put it all back again. Why would I do that? And what do you mean no connected inventories? Thank you. There's steel plate, please. Uh, yeah, like so. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so the, the plan is basically something along the lines of obviously closing this in. Right. They're not going to stay exposed like that. Um, and then probably have a Maybe I can already do that. What are they called? Uh, Hat walks. Is that what I'm looking for? Graded catwalk. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Right. So because construction components. Well, that's a new one. I mean, it's. I know it's not a new one, but yeah. So nope. Uh, we can just take these. No, that wasn't right. I didn't want that. Um, no. In with this. Can we please just... Oh, what, what are you doing? I don't get that. Why would you do this to me? Yes. So, or can't do that because of that block. Well, that's going to be fine because that's going to disappear. And can't do it there because of this railing, right? Which I suppose is fine. I'm, I'm not too concerned with that. Um, and that can come off now. Of course, you know, she, she likes to complain to me. 
Yeah, Tarsus knows this well, very well. <laughs> it's a woman's job. Hmm? It's a woman's job. Yeah, it is that woman's job, I know. We all know. Oh, what did I, I drop get, there? I'm gonna get annoyed when That was the ammo again, I'm sure. But... Uh, what on earth just... I'm hoping built and repairs just picked this up because it's disappeared in front of my eyes. Right, and then put more of these guys up. Which one was it? Yep. Uh, our Prime Minister has just resigned. She's not even made it a month. <laughs> Sorry, I don't talk politics on stream normally, but that, that is, my wife's just shown me the news and I can just only laugh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then place our nice little guy. Well, no, I want him facing outwards, please. So, and yeah, there we go, right? And I don't, I don't know what is taking you so long here. But can we, can we try and help you along here? Um, but I can now go and... Why not? I swear, sometimes this thing drives me mad. Okay. Oh, because construction components, right? Is that the only reason? Yeah, it is. Okay, no, that's fine. No, that's fine then. And then the rest can just get built up here now. I, I like this. Um, but at least I don't feel like we're going to shoot up our own base. Well, uh, eh. That's obviously going to have to get folded away. Um, and actually, I can probably... We, we can help ourselves here a little bit. If I can find out... Is it the solar pistons that I'm looking for? Or was five? Um, that's the solar up. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Ah, it's this guy. If we pull him in... Right... Then we should still get the solar tracking, but we should now be below the line of where sh stuff gets shot to shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. Right. I think this is already a good approach, right? Um, not saying it's perfect, not saying we're going to be invincible, but we're going to have at least a, a fighting chance, I feel. Um, and then you, yeah, we're gonna have to do a similar thing with you, don't I? I mean, it's it's good already that we've brought it out. Is it gonna pass? Uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to do the thing first, I think. Where is, does it have a control port? Or is that not a thing on this part? Am I not seeing it? Am I missing something? I feel like there should be a control port somewhere, like a, you know, one of these, like something like that. I suppose we're just going to have to do the grindy grindy. Yeah, please don't shoot me. Yeah, go and deposit everything. Please, don't you dare build and repair. I'm just trying to take this down. Right. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to leave that one intact. Because I like the idea of the... Yeah, being a sort of a deployment of that particular... Well, it's, it's a bit fancier than I need it to be. No, no. That's just, no, that's just fanciness. That's, that's no need for it. Right, um, I'm gonna do this different. 
Bring that off, take that one off, and that one too. Um, now let me have a look. I'm trying to find you to me. Eh, possibly, possibly, possibly. Let me have a look here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a thing. Um, so if I aim this towards base, like so. I want to just see... No, it's not going to fit because... Yeah, no, no, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Um, then we're going to come out here. Because I can. Now I need to find the right block for that. Because that is a... Curved conveyor tube, yes. I, I don't like placing these because they are fairly hard for me to understand or visualize sometimes. But no, there we go. Like so. And then... Just a conveyor tube. Like so. Nope. That didn't look right. Also, no, no, that could be fine. Yeah. Post shape talk about much. Ooh, um. No. Facing into the base, please. I've done this the wrong way around again, haven't I? Yeah, like so. And then I think I want to be sort of there with that one. Um, and I will shape it just now if I can. I'll try and do something here. Um. Yeah, maybe like so. Try this maybe. Uh, if you can, uh, if you can see where I'm going with that. Why is that now weirdly aligned? Really? So, and I need to find. And I am a terrible builder. I, I will be the first one to admit that. Um, like so. Right. I'm going to just turn that in there. Yeah, just to give it a sort of validity of existence because it, uh, it's that way and then in here. One more. Now, I want to at least make it look like it could be supported by that structure, if that makes sense. Because um, this is really a fairly big block. Uh, not block, block. Uh, yeah, this guy. No, not you. Um, I'm wondering if I should go... Oh, that's the tiller shells. We've, we've made a sword cannon shell, so we're going to go with them. Right, and then I'm going to point to say that away. And... That is going to be basically the start of our, yeah, anti-air. Um, I'm just gonna go and fill up places where I can, or you know, materials. I mean, um, and I'm sure like the inventory management will try and take care of them. Is T to turn off auto rotate, or is that during build process? I take it. So if I was to say, um, oh yeah, 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 so. Uh, for those that are not aware, right at the bottom, in the middle of the quick bar, at the very, very bottom, there is a indication for T, for this auto-rotate. So auto-rotate will try and be smart, right? And ideally, and thanks for that, Buckley, and I've heard this before, I wasn't quite sure how to do it, though, because that someone didn't mention any keys, <laughs> and I wasn't sure what I was looking for. So, um, you want to disable that... Um, auto rotate thing because that way you can just place the blocks and they, they will be outlined I think the same way um, and the end now that is I think something that only works with creative if I'm not mistaken correct me if I'm wrong but it's meant to be basically you can take a vehicle and say okay we have a mirror axis okay and then you can put a block on this side and it would automatically be placed on that side of the grid Right, that's 
basically all it does. Do we have anything in the build planner? Well, that, that can just go away. And I'll let build and repair just slowly, you know, do its thing. Which I'm really quite happy to do. Um, we have more air support now. I sort of like this. This this feels like it has legitimacy to at least stand where it is. Um, and I reckon this should actually give us enough coverage. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm right about the end key. That's something that only works in creative. But, you know, it, it is, it's a thing that makes building easier when you're, when you're trying to build grids. Um... You know, symmetrically. That is the word I was looking for there. <laughs> um, but I, I love this. You know, this is coming together really nicely. And like, no, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I can't leave it. I. It's bugging my happiness. I know it's only the one block, but it it really, really, really bugs my happiness. Now we're gonna do a cheeky thing here. with a searchlight to light up targets at night. Yeah, there's something that comes in a, in a minute. Now, I wonder, can I... Dear Factory, please give me steel plate. Um, now, that one is the one that gets chopped away, right? Now, I wonder if I can do this, this, this. Well, they up. Right, and then hopefully, I I feel like I want to safe scum this. I here we go. Yes, ha, it worked. Thank goodness. See, I, I do understand some of space engineers. <laughs> um, and there we go, that's that block. Let's go and put it back together. And then I can just chop these back away. Right, there we go. I like this already. Um... Now, I know what Taurus is, uh, what you're saying with the searchlight, but question is, do I really need to worry about the searchlight if these guys are just going to shoot at anything that moves within range? Like, I feel that is sort of a redundant piece of the machinery then, unless I was manually controlling them. Like, I... I, I is there something I'm missing here? Is, is, is the AI that bad in shooting? grids um please enlighten me always appreciate it you know that i never want to turn away, uh, away advice uh let's have a look here um wrong button i would like to do this and first of all we're going to do this thing and then we're going to do that i imagine that group has disappeared completely yes because um All right, okay, 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 okay. So you get a long range with the searchlight. I understand. Um, and I will just add these all into one group called defense for now. I think. Um, and we're gonna go and ramp that up. And then this guy, however, is gonna get Oh, it's also only got 800. Is that right? Oh, okay, fine. I'm, I'm not... I'm not against it. It's fine. Then let's go and do the target designation. And we're going to say, you know what? Uh, go after... Ah, right. To find the wreckage at night. Yeah, that would probably help a lot. Um, 
So we want it on small ships, large ships. Characters I feel is a bit overkill because we're not on a multiplayer world. Uh, stations I suppose so. Uh, neutrals we can leave alone and enemies, yes. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's sort of set up. Um, I would like to. Ooh. <laughs> that, that was quite satisfying to listen to. Um, right, 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 I understand. So here's a thing we're going to have to quickly go and well, not fix, but just add. Um, and we're gonna do... That is probably too much to ask for, but let's see if that's a thing. You know, yeah, like you, right? A searchlight. Can we... No, it, 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 it can't be plonked on there. Uh, that would have been awesome, but... Uh... I'm hoping I can do something thusly, like so. Does that make sense? Or is that uh, nonsensical? Like, I, f I feel that's something I would want to do. And then there's another thing we would probably want to do is have a camera on yeah on what actually that's a good question hmm. would be on a rotor and a hinge possibly or you just put custom turret controller uh, I don't know but like I, I don't think I could aim right now from the, my cockpit like from this block like can I well maybe I can is, is, is it a thing I don't know no, wrong button, uh, here. But if we went to into groups, right, and this group, what, what do we have here? Toggle block on, off, shoot, show block, target, stations, target weapons, propulsion, cycle, subsystems. Hmm. Enable target locking. Right, okay, okay, Buckley, I'll fix that in a second. Um, the target stations, target characters, that's just on and off switches. This, this is the AI radius. Tell it to shoot. Um, but I can't see anything for it to actually, like, I think that's what you need a custom current con uh, like, turret controller for, I believe. <clears throat> so, ow. Uh, apparently, we've not done this quite right. Right, and all we're going to do, wait for it. Um, so, and I think I would like to do the same thing again, because I quite like that little platform construction, if you will. Um, let me turn myself. That was horrid. Uh, armor corner, no. It's a slope I wanted, right? Yeah, like... Do another thing, maybe like so. Yeah, I see what you mean, Buckley, by the way, with the um, auto turn or whatever, you know, the when you when you place blocks. That is so much better with that turned off. And so what we're going to do is, and again, this is on recommendation from Buckley this time. Because um, again, you know, if, if the guys feel I'm doing something suboptimal and I'd rather hear that now, well, we can still fix it and we can still build things and do it fairly quickly. Rather than later on and during a build, you're like, um, I've, I've built everything around it now. <laughs> and you're, you're telling me what 
six episodes later, that's a little bit not so helpful. Do you mean so I'd rather have it than new? That's what the streams are for. Um, and then maybe something like this, and, and it may again be slightly nonsensical because I'm sort of blocking some directions, but I feel like I want this sort of tower that really is quite menacing with just being light lit up and death raining down from it. Right, I, th I think this is actually quite, yeah, I, I, I can live with that, um, and they're going to just do their thing and find targets and light them up, um, and un unless they're literally right on top of us, like, or right on top of this tower, these searchlights will get them, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that'll work for most intents and purposes. But, you know what? I like it. Like, I know it's not pretty, but it does the job, I think, actually quite well. Um, don't you dare. I know it's only two... It's over 800 metres away, so we should be fine. Um, oh, yes, indeed. I, I, I forget many things, Tarsus. Um, again, I, I'm blaming my old age. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Ranger set to 800, I would want that, um, and then one check defense, there's the two Gatlings, and they should also be set to 800 already, I'm hoping. 800, idle movement, yes, and I think I've set them all the same pretty much, we're, we're good. Um, oh no, I, I, I yes, sorry Tarsus, my misunderstanding, <clears throat> before you even say it. I, I picked it up already. Um, it's not those guys we need. We need to do this. Alright. Go and put them into... I'm going to call it the Death Searcher. Right? Just because. I, I don't know why. Just leave me to it. <laughs> And 800. Um, but I wanted to light up everything. Might as well. I mean, come on. Might as well shine the light on the situation properly here. Yeah, and anything that's sort of around us or doing things. Just, no, all of this on. But please, sorry, that's my... And, yeah, I, I would want you to, to concentrate on weapons, say, right? Um, okay. That's that part. But we're not quite done. I, I, I would want one more... I, I don't know what the ammo situation is. <laughs> That's well appreciated, Buckley. I always appreciate any follows and subs. <clears throat> And as I say, I'm really a noob when it comes to a lot of things, but for me it's about that journey, you know, and, and, and trying to share in that journey and let people understand how things work. Um, so that's that ammo. We've got... I feel we might want to probably ramp this up a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, intensity is a thing. Thank you, Tarsus. That is another thing I should have done. So quickly into the control panel, into the control panel when you sit down, I mean, um, the death searcher, please, yes, because it's a light, we, we can do things, right, that radius and that intensity, yeah, get that right up, and, you know, not white, I, I want it. Well, I'm, I'm looking right, okay. No, I think we're going to leave it fairly high and then just... Maybe like so. Oh, 
Oh, the might fight might. Blah, 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 sorry, uh, Buckley, I misunderstood. The light might follow me. Well, and again, my shining a light on the situation. <laughs> I'd need to observe, but I don't. I don't believe so, honestly. Like, because they would be like all aimed at me right now, wouldn't they? If that was the case, like, they, they would be all locked in on me, surely. Uh, let me see. Where's the depth side try again? Target friends, enemies, neutrals, characters. And they're on. I mean, so it's not like they're not doing their thing. And... Surely, if, if that was the case, I absolutely agree that is a possibility. But if that was the case, they would do it right now. Wrong button. Um, okay. So, I, I feel actually quite confident that we can leave it. Because otherwise I'd have all four lights on me right now. And it, oh! Ha! Huh, it is actually lighting up something of mine, which is this grid. Which is actually fine, in a way. But um, okay, let's let's turn the friends thing off. That that may probably be the better solution here. Uh, Death searcher, no friends, no friends. Um, the rest should be fine. And then we should now see that. I wish still could actually see them idling if there was. Yeah, see they're just idling now. They're not. Okay, so that that should be fine. Out. Um. I, I suppose we can, for the sake of experimentation, we 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 can do the same. Right. I I don't really want to be playing too much with the creative tools. But for the sake of experimentation and science, we shall. Eh, like so. Oh, I like that light already. Like that color. But yeah, you can see them just sort of doing their thing and, you know, looking for targets and that. But no, I like it. Oh, that's actually the light from. We need to turn that off, because otherwise we're not going to get a true picture of it. Uh, it's this guy. Also, that can turn off, that can turn off, that can turn off. Oh my goodness. Eating battery like it's candy. Uh, no, this is all fine. Fine. Um, but uh, it seems fine. It's obviously not lighting up anything because we haven't got really any targets to light up um but we could probably try the whole thing and see what happens when you do the friend okay go up goes like so and then target friends because i'm sure i had seen the whole grid actually trying to yeah see and I like this lighting. I, I like the color of it. It's not as hard. And so, Buckley, yeah, normally you can. Um, just to make you aware, my graphic settings aren't the best. Like, if, if I was to ramp them up, then yeah, we absolutely would be seeing the proper light shading happening. Um, but I've only got a 1050 Ti. Um, and so I'm glad to be able to be play this game at the same time as stream it. And so I have to make the sacrifice of not the best graphics. <laughs> you know, it's it's one of those things you just sort of have to deal with and, and see, you know, me as a player, um, what sacrifices am I, am I willing to make in terms of the graphics quality. Um, but okay, I, I like the activity of the searchlight. Let's go and reset this offset. 
right, just so we are back on original timing. <clears throat> um, now we can tell it to not target friends, because otherwise it would never let go of our ship. That's for sure, because it's sort of the closest thing that there is. Um, target friends off. But. Right, cool. Um, already happy with this, right? We, we have something that can defend us, I feel. Um, there may be a point to be made to build a third tower-ish, you know, one of those Gatling guys, just on this corner. Uh, no, no, not you. Um, give me just normal block, please, light armor block, and I can't really get into the ground here. I, I've tried. Is this damaged? No, it is a block there, I just can't get properly on top of it. There, there it is. Can we do that again? No. Just there, something to attach to. Because I would like to come over a wee bit here. Hi, like so. Um, and just to give it that stability, I'm going to honk it down like say, like so. And what did we say it was 15? Um, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh no, I oh. can't do that. Let me take this one away. Because we need conveyor. We need conveyor rich. Um, I'm just. No, no, no. Yes. No, yes, no. We need conveyors, obviously, to bring the ammo up. Um, otherwise, never will, will never work. Um, and this, I really, really, really don't. Well, actually, we can, we can, we can do a thing here. Let me, let me try. Um, okay. okay. Uh, let me. I'm gonna do a thing where. Yeah, um, that is actually a good idea. Um, so, that's going to be the two things that we're going to do then, still. Um, so, the stream is basically saying to put some sort of roof over the top. Because, essentially, all it's going to take is one hit here. Or even in, in any of the car uh, cargo containers. Uh, yeah, like one of the containers or the hydro tank, um, it's just gonna be game over, right? Well, we're gonna be in a really bad position in terms of getting resources back running if we lose the whole base, essentially. Oh, I went too far. Um, and what I would like to try and do, a large hydrogen, hydrogen tank will apparently delete your base, you know, just the size of the explosion, I, I imagine. Um, so yeah, it's obviously something to avoid. Let me now try and get some piping laid here. I don't know if I can get away with this. There, but like, yeah, I can't even see that properly, can I? Yeah, that would do. Then just convey a pipe. Little conveyor pipe just like there. I'm really hoping to get this underground without having to. Oh, there we go. That would do me. One. I've seen it. Two. One. Yes. Is it this block that I need to come up then? No, this is this is gonna be the really tricky one, I think. This is gonna be right in there somewhere. Come on, no. Because it is certainly in this block, but 
How am I? Can I do that? Can we get away with that? I just don't know what the alignment is. Like so. Oh, I, I would love if this would work. I can't tell if I've built something there or not. It, and I don't want to change any more voxel tunnel. Then I absolutely have to. So let's try. Um, well, we're going to need a... I suppose a curve will do, right? Like so, and then bring the curve one along. Right, take that one off as well. And then I should be able to just start a curve. Give me a normal straight one, please. Yep, that guy. That way. Oh yeah, I'm sure it would be very entertaining <laughs> to see that explosion. Um, but you know, I, I don't feel thusly inclined. Uh, let's find out. I don't rightly know how full the hydrogen tank is, but let's quickly find out. Okay, um, and I think I can just do... I can type, that is. Hydrogen tank ah, barely anything come on it's not even worth it not even worth the idea um which you know brings us to one of those points that tarsus mentioned uh, in the last stream is uh, ice lake so that is obviously going to be our next sort of location where a base will be built literally like it will be near an ice lake um just so we can actually fill up on hydrogen plentiful um, but now we can do this thing, right? Am I doing this right? Yes, one. That's, that's the second one through right of me. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, buckley, see that that hint with the T button of not doing the auto rotate such a godsend good grief how did i live without that and it's such a simple button too <laughs> uh, or such a simple thing i mean but holy moly it's literally taking a lot of pain away um yeah and then yeah you seem to be facing the right way you just do your thing nice okay and um, now I hope I can do a thing like so, but I can't because unable to place. Why is that? That is what I don't understand. There should be no problem me placing this. Like, come on. Yeah. So it does work. Uh, I think there's a bit of weirdness sometimes with how the hitboxes are represent it. Well, not weird, but it's, you know, it's sometimes a little bit fiddly, I would call it, maybe. Um, but yeah, like, I, I honestly feel I wanted that power there. Right. I don't know why, it just, I, I, I just felt like I wanted that to be a thing. Um, let me, uh, I was doing a thing, oh yes, I, I know what I was doing, I, I was filling up on hydrogen, boom, 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 get those, to bugger, and go and give me all my bottles, please, uh, Ding, 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 ding. That seems fine. Oh, do we want to take a fourth one? Well, we're just going mining just now, quickly. Uh, we're going to need more metal. I like more iron. That's going to be a thing. Also, question. And this is just for my own entertainment. How more 
spec. How much more expensive is heavy armor? Um, and more to the point, how is it being made? So how how does that work? Do we just look for heavy? Uh, uh, heavy armor block. Okay. Okay. So that, that is a thing that just exists. Fine. And they are metal, grid, and steel plate. And excuse me, how much? Holy schnitzel. Yeah, guys, we're, we're gonna need a lot of iron. Ooh. Why does that. There's something that looks completely off to me. Is the block meant to look like this, guys? Is, is it meant to hang over? Like, between those two blocks, there's nothing modded there. Is, is this... Hmm. It looks a little bit awkward, I, I will say. Okay. Uh, but never mind. Um, what did I say? Iron. Many bits of iron we need. First of all, I would like to put a normal block just there. Come on, please, just let me fill that hole. I didn't like that. Yeah, I noticed uh, a block. It's not just cobalt. It's, it's iron and cobalt. It's like these are twenty-five steel plate, right? These armor blocks, and heavy is a hundred and fifty. I mean, that's six times the amount, isn't it? Something like that. I mean, whoa. Yeah, I think we're going. Hmm. some sort of roof over the base that is is heavy armor worth the effort here or could I do something and this is just me spitballing right let me just try and maybe right okay so the Gatling guns just apparently don't match up that well and it, it is just looking a little bit janky so it's not a me thing, it's it's actually a thing. Like, I wonder if, like, just a double layer of armor blocks would help me out a bit. I know it's not heavy, but... I'm still a heck of a lot cheaper than doing it all in heavy armor. I feel like, whoa. And then all we would need to do is just... Get up here, like, and close it up. Yeah, or something like so. I think there's one missing, no? Something like so, maybe? I mean, surely this should still give my, my base a little bit of defense in terms of getting shot at. Same, do the same with those blocks, you know. Get another wall layer put there. Like so, come back around here and just I'm going to have to bring this out anyways. And then I suppose I'm just gonna have to Yeah, sort of wall it up here for now. Because we don't want really open holes pointing right into the base, you know, where the ammo can just fly in and explode or some sort the ordnance, you know, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not a military guy. Um, yeah, I've done national service in Germany, but that's as far as it'll go. <laughs> um, so, there we go. But I think if, if I've done something like this around the base and sort of pull in a roof all the way along, you know, just, oh, Hello, stranger. Um, and yeah, just sort of bring this out here. Oh, 
Okay, so I can I can double layer it, right? That's 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 that is a thing. Thank goodness. I was hoping that that would be something that I can do to sort of help protect a little bit. Um, because let's face it, the rover isn't fit to really take that much material, and we would have to rebuild it or at least fit more cargo containers on it, and like. I'd be then very inclined not to go even go medium. I, I would go, you know, large uh, cargo container. And I knew I wouldn't be able to get there. But okay, and just do the same here. Just try and close this up. Um, but yeah. That's that one I didn't want to place, but it's fine. Just up. And then just bring it along like so. Um just need to remember I have a door here somewhere. No, I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware, uh, yeah, I, I am aware that, so Buckley is basically mentioning that because we've got these blocks fairly close, that they'll probably be not as effective, and it may be worthwhile to actually come one lower with this, right? It may actually just be worthwhile to do that, right, these blocks, take them away. Like all this layer basically, bum 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 bum. But I, I don't really care about space above, above my head so much. If that means I'm not getting shells through my heat. You know, it's a sort of toss up, but careful. Um. Might as well just stay a bit lower then. And yeah, just pull the layer in here. Oh. Throwing blocks around. <laughs> uh, I swear, this, this game is giving me actually more fun than Minecraft ever has. Oh, that was wrong, I think. I think that's a loose block. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling. And don't get me wrong, I've played, I spent a lot of time in, in Minecraft. Like, modern Minecraft, mind, but... Um, so, yeah. It, it's, it's, for me, it's saying a lot to actually say that. Um, because Minecraft is one of those games that, yeah, well, it doesn't give you all that much story, you know, and, or people say maybe exciting gameplay. It's the fact that it's a sandbox. You, you may... You make it what you will. It's it's your game, and this is another one of those. It's really yeah. Just get away with this. No, wait. Is that I mucked that up, didn't I? Uh, no, this is, is this the level I wanted to be at. I think that is actually exactly it. So I'm up here. And then close it up. Yeah, no, this is correct. So you go there and ah, oh, let's see. Well, we needed there anyways, but we know. Come on, can we just? Right. Um. I hope I'm doing this right. Alright, and I think the first thing that people would probably realise whenever I do a stream, chaos ensues. 
right, that it is not a single stream that ever goes exactly as planned. Um, well, never mind the fact that half the time isn't even planned. I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's part and parcel of my streams. And I actually enjoy that a lot more than planning every single step of the stream and of a video when I'm like, nah, let's just see where it all takes me. Uh. But yeah, I sort of like what we're doing here. I'm gonna have to obviously bring it all the way out here. Like so. And then there's another two layers that we're gonna have to do that with. Oh. Yeah, like, I, I still look into some mod, uh, mod packs every so often. Like, I've um, recently done a lot actually in all of fabric, things like that. Um, or quilted fabrication, things like that. You know, I, I like the new mod loaders. I like to look at them. I like to see the speed increases we're getting nowadays. Um, a lot of times you'll see me playing things again and again more because something has changed in the technology or, you know, it's something new has been brought in. Oh, yeah, like, the Space Engineers, I feel, has a level of realism that Minecraft will never get. Right, I... I in Minecraft this thing where I can just say, okay, I have a block here, I'm going to chop it off and the block will stay. But that should never have been a thing. Right, it's it's the one thing that I really feel is, is made Space Engineer so much more challenging, is if you get your grid wrong, grids wrong, if you, if you mess up your physics essentially, right, the, the game will punish you. And rightfully so, because there is certain things that should just not work. And yes, I know some of them are just worships to clang. I mean, all them, it's, it's all part of the <laughs> same process, really. Um, let's come in here and just fill this up. Oh. But paid attention there. I fell off my base there. Oh, growing blocks again. feel confident this is going to be enough in terms of shielding the base a bit I like I honestly don't know but honestly like I think this is essentially what we were looking for something like this where we literally have two layers above everything that's sort of important to us you know and yeah they're just light ammo blocks but I don't feel like I'm prepared to expend that much cobalt just now Uh, and I think, considering the fact that with our AI weapons, we're going to probably have also not all that many really, like, scary encounters. Ooh, I ran out of steel plate. Miracles to happen. Well, saying that, this is a lot of steel plate we're using. Go on, Tarsus, say it. We're going to need more iron. Yes, I know. <laughs> going to say it for you this time. Uh, not that button, that's the wrong button. Also, what are you doing there? Get. Right. And I would like to come up to the top here and sort of, yeah, fill this in. Nice. Hello, unknown signal. And... So what did I want to do here? Oh, no, I, I just didn't fill it all the way out, did I? Yeah, it's just two. One, two. That's all we need in there. Um, the same is true there. One, two. Bring them in. That closes that tower, tower off. That closes that off. 
fine. Let me go and get a bit of oversight. Yeah, that seems fine. Now we're just going to go and bring it along here. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Um, and I have an idea of what we're going to do with the gate as well. Um, right, let me just try and get this sort of squared away as much as we can. Because I really would like to be ready for, for uh, a cert for next time. I think that really would be awesome. You know, having that Slight out of challenge. Um, uh, good grief, so many blocks. There we go, let's go on the line a bit. I'd like to see a building and decorative system so you have the need to build more supports. Yeah, like, half of this stuff shouldn't even work. Like, there should be something here that should sort of collapse in on itself because of the weight that we're actually applying here. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you there, Buckley. Um, but, you know, considering what we're actually getting in the game is already... I find it already quite amazing, and I've just decided to change this slightly because I feel it's taking away too much space inside the base. So we're going to do this lay on the outside. Oh. Right, I just don't like it there. And what I could probably do, actually, is just, yeah, bonk it there. Right. Oh. And just make that our second layer from the outside. And then that way we're sort of stepping the building up, uh, down a bit as well, and give it a bit more heft. I hate this bit, I hate this bit, I hate this bit. Can I please? Thank you. So, for anyone that wasn't aware, you can actually get with the jetpack, you can try and aim underneath the block, and if you're lucky and you do your mouse movements right, then, yeah, you can place a block there, right underneath. Um, it takes a bit of doing and a bit of practice, but it, it's doable. And then I would like to just give it that appearance of a solid base and not hanging in the air. Yeah, like so, and then just ding -ding -ding. I'm just gonna try and rush this build a little bit. Because I know this is really boring to watch. Um, but I have always said for my streams, or I've tried always to sort of follow that credo as much as I can, is to keep as much as I can on camera. I, I don't like to have hours and hours of work off camera and no one having seen the progress you know well we could have just cheated that in maybe well no i didn't i actually done the whole job i i done the work for it um and there's very few things that i will do off camera and it's like resource gathering like yeah if i'm staring for two hours solidly into the ground then i'm not going to make you guys sit through that no way but other than that i would be always inclined to just try and um, you know, show, yeah, include as much as possible, show as much as possible of the process. You know, and it, it's, there's, there's, I agree with you what you're saying there with uh, Buckley, with, you know, with it being uncut. But for me, it's also something to do with, yeah, honesty. It's, it's showing the process and, you know, not not sort of uh, 
swimming around the fact that well actually this has taken a long long time you know these these things don't just happen you know these mega builds don't just come to be no someone's actually sat there for hours and hours and hours and and poured his blood sweat and tears into it um yeah we're gonna need i i know we're, we're out of iron almost i know i know tarsus don't don't even <laughs> don't even go there <laughs> and it's all in good fun by the way right um not having a go just making that absolutely perfectly clear oh. but i feel if you can't have a bit of banter in these sort of games especially in long streams like this then it'd be soul destroying to do this sort of thing quite honestly <laughs> uh turn this around thyself please yeah, but I know I like sort of where this is heading, you know, I'm, I, I feel already a little bit more secure in my base. You know, not just pieces of metal lying open in the ground with spinning pieces of metal on the top of it. Ah, oh, spam. Go away, I don't like spam. I never answer to spam. Uh, or in the words of Monty Python, I don't like spam! <laughs> uh, let me see here. Yeah, absolutely, Tars. It's all about having that fun and, you know, enjoying some time together, I suppose. As Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, properties. Okay. <laughs> and then there's moments like that. Nope. Oh. And I may please remark that I have upgraded the counter already. <laughs> oh, good grief. So go and give me the... There is one in inventory here that should actually have everything I need. So there's a welder, there's a grinder, and there's a, a, a drill, and then one, two, three, four. All do me. Right. And, and somewhere in here there should still be steel plates, hopefully. Not many more. Uh... And yes, I was, I was trying to get rid of that block. Uh, <laughs> um, that's already sort of double walled there, which is fine, but then we can undo and do it there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and this provides me now that double layer on this end. Oh, it's a bit high, but I'll fix that in a second. And please also there. Oh. Come on, please. Just let me in there one more time. Nah, it's got, this is going to get real ugly, I think. One more. Uh, uh, there's no way I'm getting that one. Okay. But it'll grill. Uh, it'll weld together. Like, there's no issue there. Ooh. Like, once that's welded together, it'll have structural integrity. Oh, absolutely. Monty Python is an absolute classic over here. Um, but yeah, the whole idea of ham and spam and mail actually comes from the Mon Monty Python films. Or from a particular f sketch, actually. And it's, I think, Ryan that goes, but I don't like spam! <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. Does this look complete? I can't even tell. And then I think I just have to maybe come up a bit. Um, yeah, one up. One up, actually. We were nearly there. Just to make sure everything has actually got double walling. Is that the right block? Yeah. And there we go. Um, let's 
so yeah we, we still have nowhere near enough so we're gonna keep going I'm gonna try and build out as much as I can from here and then we're gonna go and grab more iron oh and I block dropping blocks again I don't like blocks to spine it up, so please come with me. Yeah, I know, it's been quite a long process, um, but I feel like I really wanted to have a Sir join us soon. And as I said, it was actually meant for this episode, didn't quite get around to it, so I took the time today to at least get prepared for it. And yeah, I reckon by tomorrow we will we'll have drones in our airspace for sure like the mod will be added in for tomorrow stream um and i've also got the assertive stations so that it's it's well, i think that's what it's called it's a sort of double whammy in a, as a mod um and so it gives you stationary grids from the different parties as well which is really quite great because it gives us an incentive to sort of maybe leave the base and, you know, go and have a bit of an explore and try and break into bases and things like that. Um, I, I like, you know, inventives, uh, incentives like that where you're just like, ooh, let's go and explore a little bit. Um, and that area is going to have to get... Yeah, we're going to have to double that. So where is that? Where is that? tank start so it's essentially it's yeah this is again bringing me to that problem um okay okay no problem we're just gonna hope for the best for now um and then i will upgrade upgrade those blocks actually to heavy armor blocks you know anything that's directly above the hydrogen tank that single layer that's gonna get upgraded um, as soon as we can. But we need more materials and we're just gonna let things build out here a little bit. Right. But now I'm really glad you guys stuck around and watched me do this build and you know help me out with questions and suggestions. It's really greatly appreciated. I love the whole concept of this stream been enjoying every single episode I'm looking forward to every single one and so yeah I hope we can keep this going for some time it's the, certainly as I say still a few things I would like to achieve in this series um, because for me most of those things will actually be a first like I have built in a test world I have built one atmospheric flyer Yes, it has drills at the front, um, but is it is basically the extent of what I have built. It it, it hasn't even got interstellar c capability. It can't leave atmospheric. Um, but you know, so that was in itself a super experience, and that's when I thought, well, I'm fit. I can fly. I can build something that rolls. Let's make a stream. <laughs> um, there is times when I'm slightly regretting it, especially when I agree to do scripting and I have no idea of the MDK, uh, sorry, the SDK that Space Engineers uses, but um, the development kit from MDK, actually, or from Malware, actually really helps there. Um, there's a whole GitHub where he's gone and created, yeah, basically an SDK to develop for Space Engineers in Visual Studio, so you don't have to actually do it. Um, in the game because that's where it becomes really painful when you have no real understanding of the variables and the APIs you know that's available in that so we're gonna have a sort of gate here I, I can't mind what they're called at the moment um, and as a matter of fact yeah no I, I would like that built up there that's fine um, this is built up um, and then here, about, we're going to start building, oh god, what are they called? Um, there is a gate that I can use. Oh, 
Oh no, absolutely, Tarsus. I I love the, I love the whole build. Absolutely, it's been very informative and educational. Like, and I know it sounds <laughs> not very appealing, but actually for me it is. I love to learn new things. Um, keeps my brain active. <coughs> I'm looking for this particular gate. There is a sort of like a. It's airtight when it closes. It, it it's fully airtight. Um, not that we needed that, but I, I would like the block because what if we search for doors? Right? Does it give me yeah blast door? That's that's what I'm looking for. It's a blast door. So blast doors. Is that just that block? Does it do the whole movement in itself? Mechanical blocks like pistons, rotors, or hinges. So I would need to put it on a piston. Correct? Hmm. Let's let's try it out, right? We're gonna go and get rid of them. Um go and put blast doors on. Um and then the piston. Um again I'm gonna go with the one by one. Um and I uh, I think I just want to play around with it for now. I want to just look at it. I, I want to see how it works. I've never played with this block, so please just leave me to it for a second, if that's okay. Um, nope, wrong button. Right, yeah, built that guy up, and then I imagine you would just well, put the blast door right on top, right? Like, oh. Doesn't seem like a very exciting block to be honest. Like with this attached there and then there and then you would probably have um you could do something like so right. I imagine that's that's sort of how that works. And if we went and go and, and yeah, you go and build as much as we can here. Um So, I mean, yeah, we're gonna need so much iron, it's unreal. Um, but I would, I would like to see if I can understand these guys quickly. Um, this is gonna be a lot of steel plate, I think. Well, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go and deposit what we have. And then... Well, because we know it's a meme and we're short. So let's go. No, not handbrake. Oop. Careful. And we'll go to the iron mines there. And then we can turn the light off at all this on by by the way, that would help be helpful. Um But no, Tarsus, I absolutely agree. I've enjoyed the whole build. And I think it was mostly because I had that little bit of help. You know, that little voice in the chat that says oh well, why don't you try this you know it's really helpful and the fact that you guys have all this patience with me when I go and trash my rovers and it's great I love it makes this as I say this whole stream really so enjoyable in itself but I'm, I'm all, all already every day looking forward to it it's like well, when's the time to stream is it time yet <laughs> And now because we have done a smartish thing, I hope we've done a smartish thing in this in this thing worked out. Right, handbrake come out. I should have right now, right here, yes, a deep dank ouch hole that I, I don't know what was getting built there, but I am not gonna complain. So let's go and pick up some iron. I'm just gonna get a bit extra. Although I've noticed a thing where ores seem to disappear when you mine too many. 
So you can only have a certain amount, I think, on the ground before they start getting cleaned up. Where is... It... Where's the light coming from? Am I really that light? Oh, it's right over here. Six. Just never mind me. It's just my YouTuber blindness got the better of me. Ow. And yeah, I know that was stone, but we know the robot's just gonna deal with that. Again, uh, iron is such a heavy element um, in terms of space engineer inventories. Um, but it is what it is, and we're just gonna go load up here. Um, do we want to do a bit of a cobalt thing quickly? Just because we're here? Yeah, I might as well. I don't know, I've sort of already went there. <laughs> um. But we, we sort of know already that Cobalt's going to be our next meme. Yeah, I know, like, for me, it's absolutely too early for you, really. Like, because I'm in the UK and you're like, I think seven hours behind me. Um, but I appreciate you. It's great. I, I, almost without fail. Not actually, without fail, you have turned up in every single episode. <laughs> and so, not just almost, but without fail. Yeah, well, that's dedication, my goodness. Um, but so there we go. I can find my robot now. Go again. There it is. <laughs> oh. See how much can we can store and oh, I feel like I think we're gonna do another iron one then. <laughs> oh. Do we need to increase the clone counter yet again? Or are we gonna get home healthily this time? And more to the point, are we gonna get the robot home in one piece? I think that for me is really the... Do we want to make bets on that? I mean, not that I support gambling, but... Uh, Eek. Yeah, the, the, the bets are open if, if you just want to just see your arms. <laughs> yeah, okay, we've deposited what we could and we are full to the help. Right. Right, so there's our base in that direction, roughly. Carefuling. There we go. I uh, it's uh, Tarsus, that's not just helping what you do, that's that's true commitment. <laughs> it's almost like you've literally helped me by the hand every step of the way. Well, at least when I was stuck. <laughs> you know what, Tarsus? Just because you said that, that's gonna be a thing in the next episode. It's gonna be right another clone iteration. <laughs> um, I have actually lost count, so I would need to go through the footage again. But I'm sure we're on like ten-ish, quite easily. But yeah, we're gonna have a rover count. <laughs> also, for sure. No, 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 no. 
handbrake for a second. Let me see what I'm doing. Where am I? Okay, yeah, that. That is so badly aligned. So let's see if we can fix that a little bit. This should work fairly well. I know it's not nice and centered, but we're locked in, I'm sure. Like, oh, wrong button. Yeah. And I'm sure it's not going to be anywhere near enough. Like, I just have that feeling. But, you know, built and repair is going to be busy for a little while. Just to get all this more built up. Um, same as our inventory manager. He, he's got to be going absolutely batshit crazy. Excuse my language. <laughs> uh, we have two. Count them. Two steel plates. <laughs> uh, help. Um... Yeah, I think the refineries and, and that, they're just going to have to chew through this now. And so that's doing iron already. Right, cool, Tarsus. Yeah, we're going to just have to let the refineries and that chew through this stuff and just... <laughs> um, yeah, steel plates. Shall we tell the base to make 10,000 instead? I feel like that... I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it for now. Because, like, realistically, we have two Sembus running. What's that module here? What, what did I attach there? That's a power efficiency module. So, can I... I'm gonna have to go and grab you anyway, so you can go and none of this exists anymore, so that can all go. Right, there we go. And then I can hopefully, if I now remember where I've done this, yes, like so. And it's a speed module that we want. Oh, because I'm missing something, but just build it please. And there we go, right? So that, mm, yeah, no, that should help those assemblers out, get those steel plates put out faster. I think that is a good call to do, right? Um, now let's go and visit this. Like, I don't rightly understand how this works, so I would like to. <clears throat> um, do we have anything in the build planner? Yeah, nothing that we can fix from there. One, two, three. I know we're missing parts. Can you just give me what you have? Okay. I just, um, as I say, for me, it's now trying to understand these. Like, this doesn't look right. Like, none of this looks like I would have expected to. Um, and I may be thinking of the block, uh, wrong block here. Like, I feel I'm looking at the wrong... Thing, to be honest, because there's this block that I saw. It's sort of like a piston, actually. It sort of extends, and it's and then it's a door, right? Uh, let me try and that's a sliding door. That's a half sliding hatch door. Sliding hatch door. It's an offset door. This. The blast door edges in that. That's a sliding door and that's a normal door. So maybe just on the off chance. Maybe it's something we haven't unlocked yet. Wouldn't put it past myself. Is that a gate? 
Is that what I'm looking for? Oh, it is indeed. So what do I need to build? I need to build a door for that. Well, let's go and do that then. Okay. Nice. Not a problem. Um, components. Oh, uh, not that. Just go and build that. So it turns out, yeah, I was looking at the wrong, entire, entirely wrong thing here. Let's go and get rid of these. These are not the blocks I'm looking for. I mean, yeah, you can do stuff with the blast doors too. Like, you, you can move them and they do become airtight, if I remember right. Um, it's not the block I was looking for. I wanted it way simpler. So we're going to do that and get rid of this and that. And so we want a door, right? And I think what we'd like to do is just for myself, just because I feel like I would. Oh, oh it did. That, that's, that was the one. That's the one I wanted. <coughs> so, see? And then, ding, ding. Bring that round. Oh. Well, actually, there's a better one for that. I think there's a better block. Um. Mm. Actually, yeah, that would do. I like that. I like that. Oh, yeah. Because I can then do the same here, I think. And then I can go back to the slope. Like that there. Yeah, and it gives us this sort of little funnel, if you will, to go up that we actually use to go through, right? And then we're going to place a door. Eh. Like, there, I suppose? Is that a thing? Can I do that? I'd rather have it there, actually. Welcome back, Tarsus. And now we have gone and actually unlocked what I need. That's really what I was here for, um, is... It's this guy. Yes, thank you. Airtight hangar doors. These are awesome. Um, I just need to try and see if I can find... So it's this block, but one, one. I think that is it. One, why, why, why unable? Why unable? Does it need free voxels? Like, does it, does it need to be on a block? What, what am I missing here? Ooh, yeah, yeah that car is gone. Um, but so explain to me why you won't let me, is it alignment? Is it, is it, oh, that can't be right. Okay, okay, no, wait, 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 I understand. I think I understand. Watch this. We want a normal block. So this is the first of the gate blocks. Right. And what we want to do is we can attach it there. Sideways. Like, we can point it that way. Then we can just bring it along. It's a matter of attachment to the right blocks, I think. Oh, come on. Is that going to be enough already? No, we're going to need one more. Come on. Just let me place it. i seen you. There was a thing. You were letting me. You were wanting to let me put it. No. It's there. It's right there somewhere. There, I'll do me. Oh, that was slightly janky. And then... Is it only a 20 day impound? No, that's not too bad. Um, in Germany, you can lose your whole car for that. Like, crushed. Same in Great Britain. 
if it's bad enough. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get a block put there, I think. I would love to, but I don't think it's going to let me. Right. Yeah, no, I am sort of <laughs> very aware of that fact. So what Buckley is saying is that this block block breaks, I'm going to lose the whole game. Right, and that, that is just how it works. And I would love, love, love this one. I would love to get one under here, and I think I'm going to just, just very gently... Get me. Just trying to get enough leverage, or let's say, um, area to attach to. No. What? What are you doing? Okay, that wasn't enough. I need to really touch boxes. Oh. Yeah, I blew something up. It happens. That was loud in my ear. Uh, yeah, so something like that can happen. Right, see if we can now get this. Oh, here we go again with that. There and there. That's what I wanted, right? Then I should be able to hopefully. Please let me put put block there. Right. I know it's not ideal, but I think I like this. So twenty five dollars per day plus towing fees, plus the uh, impound. Ah, uh, not not too bad. Um. So there we go. Build this up a little bit, and then we're gonna need a panel. We're gonna need buttons. We're gonna need buttons to smash. And we're gonna use the, um, this. But I, I like this guy. I really, really, really do like this vertical button panel. And so, two seconds. I'd like to group it up nicely and take a seat. <laughs> my poor space engineer gets tired on his legs um, and then I think I just group these all together right and just say hangar door oh. doors even say like so um, and then obviously they need to be completed first and we can help with that in a second but it's sort of like that Right, and then just try and weld this up. Oh, here we go. And then I think that block's already sort of built up. Cool, let's see if we can withdraw the components. Yeah, of course not. Well, let's let's put that all into production, and it's sort of it's got to be on top of what we've already got, which is fine. Um, now I would like this to be in the groups of where are they? Yeah, this. Oh, I can't do that yet because a sensor. Retail. Okay. Yes, I I I understand. Um, I'm gonna leave the sensor for next time, Tarsus. Uh, I like the idea. I'm gonna use it. We're gonna have something that maybe we're gonna have something on the rover that will identify us even, and thusly open the the, the, the gate. You know, I, I don't know what the exact possibilities there are, but yeah, of course there, there is going to be something like that that we can at least drive into the base or something, right? Um, but I, I would like also manual control. It called me old-fashioned, but I like the idea to interact with the door by pushing a button. You know? 
As I say, call me old fashioned, but sometimes I like these old fashioned things and this the feeling of, yeah, I'm pushing something and something is happening. Okay, needs more components, many more components, many, many more. Um, probably got stuff in here. Oh no, it should all be pulled out, right? I don't know, actually. Uh, I would imagine so. Like, there should be nothing in... No, I, I, I don't imagine there should be, and so it's fine. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, construction components, all that good stuff. Uh, And then because we've got that many steel plates loaded up, um, yeah, okay, it's going to take a little while here, um, I didn't even try to get materials, but we have a door, by the way, yay, um, how do they work, like, alright, you just, F it, you just, cool, uh, and then, yeah, basically, you would have a wall, sort of, around this, probably, I don't know yet, I'll make something work. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd want it. Ooh, yes. Um, basically, do maybe. No, not. That's the wrong block. That block, I think. Like so. Well, if I had steel plate, but yeah, yeah, basically. Boom, boom. I like that. Then we have sort of one specific user entrance or you know the people entrance if you will and we have one for you know the the, the vehicles and that yeah, yeah 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 i really am liking everything about this it's slow i'll admit to that it's a slow progress process but i'm enjoying it um what's the time okay we've got about 15 minutes left um Rover's empty, I think. Yeah, we're going to do another quick run. Because, well, we, 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 we all know that there is no chance I have enough iron. No chance in heck. So we might as well just go and grab some. Um, and then, if chat can remind me before I go, uh, to check the antenna ranges from the base, uh, the rover, you know, all of them, before we actually get into the episode tomorrow and have them broadcast like at 5k or something. I can't remember what I've set them up to. Um, I'll try and remember myself, obviously, as well when we get back to base, but that would be sort of the last step to make sure we're not broadcasting that loudly that, you know, any certain ship's gonna just. Ooh, what's this? Let's pounce it. Let, let's pounce on it. And let's let's destroy it. No, I'd, I'd rather not. So we're nearly there. The iron mine. And oh, break, 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 break. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, this this little piece of advice. <laughs> so much easier to do, to do the mining with. Just set your darn GPS points right to the thing where you're going in. And I think I'm actually going to sort of adopt a dual policy there. So like when I, when I see the material first, I'm going to ref still refer to it by just the chemical compound or, you know, the chemical shorthand for that element. Um, and then when we actually do the, the diggy diggy hole, that's when I'm actually going to say, okay, this is a gold mine, this is a uh, and this, this iron mine. Um, oh, full inventory. You know, Buckley, I have actually been considering, and I've said this to Tarsus, I think, already the other day, I've actually considered making this a multiplayer world. Like, that thought has crossed my mind now a few times, actually, already. You know, so there's that opportunity as well. Like, if there's something you'd be interested in. Um, 
But no, it, like I'll be honest, because that's exactly what happened to me. I was I was watching, I think it was Splitsy first, and then he was doing a series with Kanajashi joining, and that's how I got ran into his channel. And all of a sudden, I found myself, ooh, I want space engineers. And then the next thing I knew was like, ooh, I would like all the DLCs, please. And well, now look at me, <laughs> hundred plus hours in the game and. Still mad about it. You know, but it, it, for me, it's 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 a sign of a good game. And we're just gonna do exactly what I said we're gonna do. We're just just iron many pieces of iron that I can find. <clears throat> Well, the thing, Buckley, is, um, like, my friends, let's call it that, are far and few between. Um, none of them play PC games, and the few that do do that are playing games like... And I'm, I'm not actually ragging, uh, ragging on the on, on the game genre, but they play COD and things like that, War, Warzone and... It's just not my sort of gameplay, right? Um, and so there's unfortunately sometimes not that much common ground for, jo for friends to join into each other's games. Um, but so I have been considering if I found the right people, maybe here on stream. Um... <laughs> yeah, see, I've done the same with Kanajashi. I, I sort of caught up to his series on series four. And that's sort of what really brought me to the stage of, you know what, I'm going to do my own stream because I enjoy this too much. Um, but yeah, I'm basically at the moment sort of looking for the right people that know the game well enough that... Um, and this may sound daft, but you know, I, I can't be doing with someone making fun of me because I don't know the game that well. I'm learning. That's the whole point, you know. So it's, it's trying to find those folk that also want to be seen with myself if that makes sense you know small time streamer with barely what 30 uh, subs at the moment you know it's not someone or something everyone would want to try, um, associate with so yeah still looking for the opportunity if it arises and if people approach me I'm more than happy to go and open this world to multiplayer and I'm thinking like maybe two three people nothing crazy like no nothing like eight 10 people, anything like that. I don't know what the maximum server sizes are, but you know, I want to keep it friendly and we're just doing a big build all together sort of thing. Makes sense, but yeah, just as a piece of information. And oh, there's this, there's a trap here between the wheels sometimes. It, it happens. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're, we're through, right? Um, like, how full are we? And can we cheese it a little bit can we no we are full to the full okay cool um handbrake turneth thyself well fair enough that's um but you know i, I found a lot of youtubers like that you know, you, you see one video popping up on your homepage, and you're like, "Ooh, I was wanting to see that anyways. Let's let's see." <laughs> um, yeah. See, Buckley, listen. Uh, you've got my my Discord. Um, you can DM me on there as well if you want. Uh, but yeah, if it's something that you'd be interested in, we can certainly come together and talk about that. And Tarsha's the same invite goes for you if there's something you would want to join. Um. I I know you say that your machine getting rebuilt, but you know this this is not going to be a series that's going to be over tomorrow or in a week <laughs> by no stretch of the imagination. Um, but no, I think I would really enjoy that. But as I say, just hit me up on Discord later on, and then ooh, pay attention now. I think I may need a rover fix, but I am 
hoping not, because I am not increasing a counter yet. <laughs> uh, I think actually it's built the my my, my gates a bit better. Yeah? Oh. Nice. I like this so much more that we've turned that ma magnetic grappling on uh, off. Uh, okay, not not quite. Okay, that's fine. But it should start building on this now. And we have plenty of iron. I'm going to put more iron in here. Um, also, what do we put in here? The yield modules. Or efficiency. I feel almost like... Yeah, I'm going to do that quickly. Just because I feel like we could benefit from... Them. Just putting speed modules on. And then hopefully... Oh crap, I forgot the whole thing here. Ding, 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 ding. Go and get rid of that. Okay, that one's built. Yeah, the computer shouldn't be a problem. So, oh, that's already built now. Great fun. Um, now, I'm hoping that that is going to help the refinery. Like, I... Where's your control panel? Where are... Oh, uh, okay, up here. Well, that's fine. Let me just quickly see... Oh yeah, absolutely. We can absolutely do that. Um, you know, obviously be in voice chat and then you can see what's happening and that. Um, but I think there's potential there, absolutely. Um, so I was, I'm just cu cu curious. So that's the effectiveness. Productivity, 300%. Power efficiency. Um, so I'm, I'm just hoping that this is going to help with the processing. of all that material that we've just brought home. Um, I would like to see these finished. Like, that would be awesome. Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna do a thing. Yeah, exactly, Tarsus. That was the idea that obviously you would follow on stream, um, but you could still partake, absolutely. Um, go and add these in. Right, I should have a few of those now in there. Um, there should be a whole production somewhere going on. Yes, many steel plates. Now, please give me many components, as many components as you can. I would like to try out this door thing once, just for me to sort of confirm if if it's, if it's something we can make work, and it still look fairly seamless. If that makes sense. Let's see here. Withdraw. And I'm just doing it this way because Build and Repair is busy with all these steel plates, you know, all these ammo blocks. And so that's why I've turned Build and Repair off just now and we're just doing this thing. Which, you know, is fair enough. Um, Buckley, I, I get that. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Because I'm a family, family man myself. And, you know, if the kids are screaming in the background, then that's what it is. <laughs> um, but that's obviously up to you. You know, everyone needs to feel comfortable with what they want to do and how much they want to participate. It's just food for thought. I, I think I would like the idea and... You guys seem to be, you know, like-minded as myself. And, yeah, it could be quite a chill experience. So, let's see, I, I just want this door built now. Come on! What 
what are we actually missing? Is it still steel plates you're just making? Well, let's have a look at the other assembler. Go and cancel that for now, please. All right, just just ignore that. Okay, that's interior plate apparently. What what do you do? You do nothing. Okay, that's fine. And we still have that and that in the build planner to deal with. All right, go and just put what we're missing. So I think this is all the blocks in that particular arrangement. And I know it's a little bit janky with the greenery poking through. But I think I actually want that though, to be honest. I think that's what I really would want. So, no, not G, K. And so that button is groups I have set up, right? Somewhere. Yes, hangar doors. Uh, hangar doors so up in this case is a close or we could just say well you know what no big red button bush open close swap do click look at this I love it oh I love this Oh, this is freaking awesome. Guys, we're, we're actually getting fairly close to a nice secure base. I, f I think, you know, just to sort of secure it a little bit, I would like to probably finish off these steel plate, of course. Um, you know, that, that side wall. And just give me just a probably too much, but doesn't matter. Um, but at least if we can sort of finish off the walling that and then say, hey, you know what? We, we have a, a schnitzel uh, attached it there, I hope. Like so. Um, and then I would have another door literally through here. I think that would fit. Ugh, if a three-year-old is no shouting and he's no doing the three-year-old thing right, trust me on that. <laughs> uh, so can we can we fit a door here? Like, I don't understand. Is that the right way? Is this okay? We need interior plate, which that I can do. Right. And then I know I need to obviously fix that a little bit, but so like say so. Is this a thing? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Tarsus. Thanks for reminding me while we're here. Because I would have plum forgot that. The antennas. Oh. And then. My wife's actually put a note, I, I posted on my net monitor. I, I completely ignored that. that. I was staring at the thing too. Check the antenna things before tomorrow. Well, we're going to do it right now. <laughs> uh, so, and, and it's really just two antennas I think that we have to worry about, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Or even just one? Hey man. Stay yeah, that, that's going to have to. Say 1k? 1k gonna be... Yeah, I think that seems fine. Uh, we have nothing on the base actually that we need to worry about. It's literally just the rover. From what I can see. Uh, there's no beacon I can see. Apparently... Oh no, there is, there is, there is. Yeah, that. Oh my goodness. 20k. Yeah, let's try. Yeah. Oh. 
what are we going to set the beacon to? Uh, I'm gonna set it to a key for now. Sink, and then wind turbine. What a couple of so finest this is spotlights, conveyors, battery search lights. Remote control, does that have any? I'm just checking if it has any, any like, um, no, there's no range on that. Then there's a refinery, programmable blocks don't have a range. War detectors? Yeah, they're just the usual, that's fine. And O2H2, LCD panels. Um... Gatling turrets are set up. No, 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 no. Please, do not. Um, door two um, is outer. And we're gonna call this inner door. Just so I know already which ones they are. But yeah, this, this seems fine now. We have now got the antenna ranger set up. Let's try and finish off this build slightly. I think I can just go and close it up like so. Like if I'm not entirely mistaken, and I may well be. No, that was <sighs> floating blocks, falling blocks, all that good stuff. Thank you. Um. Like so, just to sort of close that up nicely, and then we have no open bits to the base, I hope. Right, and close this up nicely. Ooh. Get in there, and there, nice. Um, and just because I feel like it, I am going to double. I'm going to double up, or am I? More to the point. Um, so yeah, what I could do? Ah, watch this. Um, very simple solution. Because I like simple solutions that work when I can align the thing. Boom, 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 and we're just going to bring this along. Like so, and I know it's not pretty at the moment, and it shall get pretty up at some point, possibly. But I sort of like this approach already, right? Uh, let's go and tell Built and Repair to do a few things, please. Because we should now be in a better position. Let me just confirm that everything's sort of closed off. To the best of my knowledge and ability, um, is this doubled? No, it's not doubled. Well, squares are for me the easiest shape. <laughs> Don't have to worry about corners and all that. But like, <laughs> that's that's why I do it. <laughs> it's pure and utter laziness, and I am not an imaginative person. I just simply aren't. Right. So. You come in here for pretty, uh, unfortunately you're in the wrong place. But if you come in here for fun, that's always good. That's what we're here for. <laughs> uh, seeing, seeing grids explode and yeah. rovers tumble. <laughs> hey Tarsus, when you play Minecraft long enough, everything becomes a cube. <laughs> um, and then, because otherwise we're not going to get up there nicely. Actually, wait, I, I, I like that block. Give me that back, please. I sort of like that. And then... Give me a slope, please. No. Like that. Bam, bam. 
I can't do that there. Okay, I, I, I don't even care. And why on earth did you... No, that, that's correct. Place that right. Sorry. I'm talking to myself. But at least we can get back up here. And then there would be another wall here. To sort of firewall, if you will. And then we have the outer wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. Um, this is going to stay like this. Because I want the vehicle bay to be fairly... Well, not totally separate, but I, 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 like, I don't want foot traffic in the vehicle bay, if that makes sense. Like, I feel that foot, pra foot traffic itself should just, you know, follow this path. Um, out of the way from, yeah, the heavy foot traffic and only authorized personnel are allowed to push the big red button and take the row out. Yeah, I, I sort of like that idea, and I like how this looks. I, I, I love everything about it, actually. Uh, sorry, lock me back in. That's not what I wanted. I'll turn this grid off, just because I can. And then big red door, uh, big red button. Oh, I love it. Honestly, I, I feel... Um, you know, I, I love it. We're going to turn built and repair on. Um... Just because now, yeah, there's got to be a lot of steel plate that's got to get chewed up. Um, and I will leave the game running, sort of in between streams, just to get this built up fully, right? Um, but it's not like you're missing anything. All, all I'm going to do is just stand in the world and wait for built and repair. If I'm lacking more iron, I will go and obviously grab it, but there is nothing much that you're going to miss. Okay, I can promise you that. Um... I may even be tempted uh, if I do something like that. I may be tempted to even put it on my Discord uh, as a stream, you know, just for 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 members so to speak to watch. Um, I don't know which block I want here. Like I feel like I can't find a good. Okay. I'll do. It. It's not pretty, but it'll. Did I just? And yeah, like so, um, it'll, nah. it, it's it's hideous and it'll do. Okay, <laughs> it's hideous and it'll do. <laughs> there we go. And I am going to close this off just for myself, like so I know and oh, I can visualize how I want this to be, like from all sides. Like there's a sort of, I have a sort of feel of how I want things to look sometimes oh. um, but I think it's more a personal aesthetic that I'm after rather than a certain look it's just it has to look right to me it has to feel right and that right there is such a subjective thing you know that I can't explain it if it looks right to me it, it, looks, it looks right and I use it if it doesn't look right I'll tear it down and do it again that doesn't belong there. One of these things just doesn't belong here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm losing mine. Um, we are a little bit over the time. I um, want to thank everyone for attending, for watching, for leaving all those comments, for, you know, participating. Um, check me out on Discord. I have left a link in the chat. There's also a link on the about page of my YouTube channel. Um, go and check it out. If you have any questions, you know, you can leave them down in the comments, down in the doobly do, do that. I'm available on Discord most of the time, during daytime hours, in the UK. And other than that, just put a, more, a message in my Discord anyways, because whenever I see it, I normally do answer it, right? Um, but yeah, thanks again, specifically Buckley and Tarsus, this case, for taking all that time with me. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, until next time, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna say it again just because I can. Thanks for watching and peace out. And that's your Uncle Sebastian done.